Good morning, Arlington. Today is Friday, Cinco de Mayo. I'm Paige Yokusing along with Lynn Maxwell. And here is your school news. Attention seniors, prom tickets are now on sale through Sunday, May 14th. You purchase them online through the Arlington Web Store link on the high school webpage. And then click on senior class. If you have any questions, please email or see Chef Losey in room 1433. Would you like to be able to use the library during AP exams? Remember that the library will be open from about 3.15 to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night next week. The exact opening time will, be, will depend on when exams finish. In a world where one out of three people needs blood in their lives, we need to look out for each other. All students 16 years and older are encouraged to give blood on Wednesday, May 10th from 10 to 4 in room 1422. If you are interested in donating blood, please go to the bubble to get a permission slip. For your best blood driving experience, make sure to eat and stay hydrated. Look around the school for posters with more information. Attention! To all who are going on the whale watching trip, there will be a mandatory meeting after school in room 1505 on Tuesday, May 9th. They will be going over important details and finalizing the room list. See you there! This week is National Physical Education and Sports Week. It is a celebration of physical education and health education. The spring season is a great time to renew your commitment to healthy activities. Improve your sleep habits by doing the following. Make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, relaxing, and at a comfortable temperature. Remove electronic devices such as TVs, computers, and smartphones from the bedroom. Avoid large meals, caffeine, and alcohol before bedtime. Get some exercise. Being physical active during the day can help you fall asleep more easily at night. All PE makeup classes will be held in gyms 1 and 2 because AP exams are set up in gyms 8 and 9. And now, here's Paige with the club scene. A reminder for all pocket members to please pick up or return your permission slips for the trip to Miss Dandridge in room 1152 or 2134 as soon as possible. And to all young men of color, My Brother's Keepers group will be meeting after school from 2.20 p.m. to 3.15 p.m. Join them in room 1422 next to cafeteria C and D. Want to know more about MBK? Please reach out to Miss LaGuerre, South House Assistant Principal, to learn more. Hi, buddies. Join them in cheering on their friends and on the unified basketball team right after school in cafeteria B to make spirits, to make spirit signs to bring to the game that afternoon. The game starts at 4.30. Come and make your own spirit sign or just come to hang out and play games and enjoy some snacks. Sign up on the Google Classroom. They hope to see you there. Hola, Arlington. Students enrolled in Spanish classes are eligible to travel to Spain in summer 2024. Do you like to travel and learn about other cultures? Don't miss out on this amazing adventure. They still have room, but hurry. The registration deadline is Tuesday, May 16th. For more information, see Senora Hasbro in room 2150. And now, I'm going to toss it over to Owen Stange, who has your weekly sports update. Oh hey Arlington, I'm Owen Stange, and this is your sports update. Let's cut to the chase, Arlington. The varsity golf team won last Tuesday by a score of 220 to 266. Austin Kenyon got the low score for Arlington, shooting 40 for the day. The boys' varsity tennis team went 1-2 and two this week, all three games not being close. On Monday, they lost to Cross River. On Tuesday, they beat Mayapak 6-1. And yesterday afternoon, they lost to Ketchum. The Arlington track team competed in the Section 1 League Champs last weekend. The boys took a narrow second place, and congratulations to the girls who came first in the meet. Several Arlington relay teams won, and other event winners include Riley Pettigrew and Ben Hambleton. Good luck to athletes competing at Somer and the Lokes games in the coming week. Yesterday, the varsity boys lacrosse team lost a close game 11-10 against Carmel. Luke Macon had three goals and an assist in the effort. Also yesterday, the softball team lost a close one to John J. East Fishkill 2-1. Arlington's unified basketball team started its season last week with a 48-44 win over Beacon. Manny Robertson led scorers with 10 points. Israel Vivas Law and Abby Cruzo each added eight points. On Tuesday, Arlington had a 33-33 tie against Kingston. 
Arlington was down late, but Autumn Rousseau had a game-tying buzzer beater. Charles Crawford, Caitlin McCarthy, and Luke Posca each had two points. Please go out and support the Unified team next Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday as they have home games starting at 4.30 in gyms 1 and 2. Go Admirals! That's enough sports for today, Arlington. Don't have a good day, have a great day. Tomorrow, May 6th, Arlington High School hosts the charity event for Friends of Jacqueline, an annual family fun day of lawn games, face painting, concessions, and ra raffles and more, followed by the JV and Varsity Girls Lacrosse Games. FOJ aims to improve the quality of life for children battling pediatric, pediatric brain tumors and other childhood cancers. Please come out tomorrow from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. to support a great cause and fun doing so. That's your news for today, Arlington. It's a D-Day. Did you know that Cinco de Mayo was not Mexico's Independence Day, but rather a celebration of the Mexican Army's victory over France at the Battle of Pueblo on May 5, 1862?